Peace and blessings, my Afrocentric home decor and style channel. Oh, how I've missed you. I've missed you all so very much, but I'm going to be making a lot more. I'm moving stuff. I'm going to be making a lot more time for you all because I'm lightening my load on my other channel. I'm working with small groups now. You know, I'm strictly doing my uh, intensives, doing my... What else am I doing? I'm doing my weekend courses on my other group, and I'm just kind of like releasing the channel to just do some creative things on that channel, but really just living my dream. And so this is part of it, although I love what I do for my Blackberry Beauty Academy. I do. I love it. I absolutely love it. Hey, blessings. That's right. Blessed by him. You are first indeed. So ladies, what I wanted to show you was I refreshed the table. It is simple. It is probably one of the most simplest tablescapes that I've done. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. So let me show you the items of what I did. I mean, it's exactly I needed simplicity. My, I felt like my table, it was great for the winter, but it was a lot of stuff on it, which was great for the winter. But even though it's not spring, and I'm not rushing spring, it's not a spring tablescape for sure for me, it is, I needed lightness. I needed a place, yes, hey, sweetie, I needed a place to sit, to rest my mind, to get clear, to, y'all know that, to remove clutter. So I did it very simply. And so let me just show you what I did. So, hey, how are you, Sunday moon? How you doing, darling? Okay, y'all. So the centerpiece is this beautiful candelabra. Let me put this TV on mute so I can hear the queen. Oh, I love you. Hey, Wendy. How are you, darling? Uh, so this candelabra is the centerpiece. So this is the centerpiece. I bought this at, I think, TJ Maxx. Y'all was with me? Y'all was with me when I bought it. Yay, thank you. And I used, I got the red uh, taper candles from Walmart. If, you want, if you're looking for them, they're 72 cents. you was with me actually when I bought these as well. I showed you after I bought them. And they are 72 cents a piece. And so I bought five. And I got different colors. I got red, I got a gold, and I got a white set. And so the beautiful candelabra is the set. So... Think about seeing it from kind of different angles. Remember, as Renee Ali, who sent me those beautiful Kwanzaa cards, which I've used actually somewhere else, and I'll show you that. Kwanzaa is not just during uh, the 26th to January 1st, December 26th to January 1st. Hey, Sunday, thank you. It's all year round. So I kept that here. What I also did was I decided I wanted to go with this from Afro Chic Boutique, this beautiful African fabric or print table runner which i'm loving and then look at that green and that brownish and then i brought it in here so let me tell you what really another inspiration for this particular table was i yeah i wanted to take the tablecloth off because the wood is pretty and the color is pretty and i feel like this green with this kind of brown really picks this up here thank you winter child so i, I actually said let's show why we got to cover the table all the time let's keep it real clean and simple and so once I had this, actually, let me show you the real, the inspiration. And then, because I, I want to show you my thought process and how I think. I think that inspires people as well. Hey, Camille. Thank you, darling. I'm so glad you love the colors. Hey, thank you. Y'all remember when I bought this placemat set? It was six in a set. It was six of these placemats and then six napkins. And so I never used it. You know, they are square and they have the men drumming, but also they have drums and the men in their different, uh, uh, with the bow and arrow. Come on, girl. Come on right now. You can come over. Uh, and they're different, uh, you know, bow and arrow and different other kind of ways of being African life for some in the day, which I love warrior life and the drum. So I said, yes, that isn't it. Thank you. Right. So I, I said to myself, you know what? I love this. I love this. And this is my inspiration. So then once I put this down, I said, wait, let me put it on the wood. It has the same color scheme. I love it. Now, then I thought to myself, I'm going to show you piece by piece. And again, what my mind was thinking, right? So once I, I said, look at that brown. It's not going to really be seen, but the parts of the placement that is seen, I never used this. This is a gorgeous piece, right? And so I got this from, I think it was uh, Michael's. I'm pretty sure I got this from Michael's. And it says $6, but I know I got it for half price, so I got it for $3. And I got this at Michael's. Is that Afrocentric? 
Is that so gorgeous? So I said I never used that placemat. So I'm going to use that this one right here. So, oh, isn't that wonderful? I love the table runner. So then I said, well, you know what? I got green plate, a green plate from Dollar Tree. I'm feeling the green. So I placed the green with the brown on. Then I remembered, wait, I got those green Dollar Tree glasses. So I took the, the green stem, a slightly green tint, and then I had this basket-like coaster. And I thought, you know what? That's simple, beautiful. And now, and this is how I create the set. So of course, there's the kind of white off-white that's in. So of course I said, well, let me put the Dollar Tree. I call this kind of my dessert plate. And then on top of that, this is what I originally had. So of course, you know, y'all, y'all know I love these table ring, a napkin ring holders. Y'all know I love these. The elephants, the carving, so beautiful from Kenya. And so I put the napkin that goes with this. Yay. I put the napkin that goes with the placemat. I put it in there. And then Spirit said, hey, you know what? I had a table runner here that was the, a black and white one. I'll show you what I had. Once I saw this brown, this green, and this white, I said, wait a second. I have the table runner that has brown and green and white. So I used it. So then I decided, well, I want to use the napkins too. So why not have the napkins pick up that match the Afrocentric, I mean, it's called Afro Chic Boutique is where I got this from, the table runner. Why don't I have that and then put that there? And that's how I came up with it. So, of course, you know me, I do it on one side. I could, I want to show you some other things on this table. So then I do it on the other side, right? Yes, those napkin ring holders are, the, aren't they the bomb? Yes. Hey, True Royal Family, how are you? Thank you. So, of course, different napkin ring holder. Same situation on this side. Now, I don't have two green. I don't have two more green um, you know, I don't have two more green plates, but I have some orange. And, you know, I'm going to get orange in wherever I can. So I did the same thing, only this time. Oh, that's right. Isn't it pretty, that green against that wood? I'd love it too, darling. Hey, Shanta. Hey, BB Joe. So I said to myself, let me show you this thing. Same thing. Now, I'm going to probably always use placemats and chargers that are different from each other because I just kind of like that. Hey, I'm so glad. Yes. Oh, yeah. The bigger, Jay, isn't it the bigger table was the bomb? You know we had to get that. So I had these, thank you. I had these chargers, which I believe I got these from either Hobby Lobby or, oh, no, it, well, it says Kirkland's. I guess I did get it from Kirkland's. And I know it wasn't $6. I probably got a half price, but it's burlap. Burlap, burlap, African feel, same. You know, I got the placemats. I used the burlap charger. So I didn't have green plates, but you know me. I like to, I don't want it to be matchy-matchy. Not all the time. Maybe sometimes. I don't know when I do matchy-matchy, but I'm sure I do it. Put the orange plate there. Same concept, orange plate. Then I got the white. I call it the white, um, the white. I call it like a dessert plate. That's what I actually use it for. Then I place the napkin that actually goes with, see the side, that goes with the table runners, oh, that orange sister, you know I'm loving it, and you know I got to have my giraffe, and I put the napkin that goes with the placemat inside, and so, of course, I did on the other side. Now, I know you're seeing a lot of details. Let me, let me keep going. Everybody be sure to hit the like button. Thank you so much, Jay. T J Jay, tell them to hit the like button, please. Thank you for helping me. You know I need help. All right, <laughs> so I did the same thing over here. Okay, you got it. Okay, let me show you what I bought. Y'all, wait, check it out. Check it out, because there's a moment of silence. Okay, <laughs> do you see, what is this? Well, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. BB Joe, do you see this? Do you see these mud cloth coasters? Who does this? Who has this? Yes, yes, yes. My cloth coasters. You know I'm excited. This is true excitement. You know my voice when I'm excited. And if the price is true, it was at home, which I think at home is expensive. And you all notice that at home is expensive? But yes, but I got you, sweetie. The cloth, I saw it. $7 and it was worth it. I only bought two and I'm going back to get two more. I think that's just absolutely stunning. Like I, I'm, I'm done like with this right here. So I bought one for this. I only have two. And I'll show you the other side. And what I did is I paired it with the gold stem glass that it was supposed to be my New Year's glass, but I never used it for that. And I thought, you know, you got to bring out the gold when you're talking about Africa. 
So I did. <laughs> and so then over here, I know my I know, is that like is that stupid crazy? My club coasters, yes. And so I did it on the other side. Thank you, Michelle. How are you, darling? And then I got a mud cloth on the other side coaster. And of course, I used the gold glasses. So the gold with the orange and the green with the green. So you know, I'm working a yes, gotta have some gold. And so then I decided that. You know, I just put my other coasters, my giraffe holding the other coasters, really just for, you know, see, show kind of thing, beauty. And then, of course, you know, I got my black memorabilia, salt and pepper shakers. So we have that as well. And I'm so happy with this tablescape. Let me show you. On the back walls, those are also placemats as well. And I actually put them on the wall. I always am putting those on the wall because I think it brings in and it tells a, a, even more of a story. But let me show you what I got from at home as well. I paid $4.99. Y'all, do y'all see? They call them tea towels. Do you see the beauty? Yes, isn't that nice? The place was on the walls. You got to do that one, especially nice ones. Look at this, y'all. Is this gorgeous? This is at home. At home has this whole thing. They lie. They don't want to call it African, so they call it Moroccan. That's what I want to say. They call it Moroccan mud cloth. They call this, this Moroccan mud cloth. They have a cheer, but it's not from Morocco. Mud cloth is from Mali. Yes, they look like runners. So the tassels are fab. You know I'm going to use it for so many different things. But these are the tea towels. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? Like, I love it. So right now, I'm just putting them here until I redo the kitchen, and then I'll be able to put them in the kitchen. But, you know, you can use them for other things as well. They were $4.99 a piece. And then check out this pattern. Check out this pattern. Uh-oh, what? Is that beautiful? Come on, queen. Isn't that beautiful? That's just, y'all, it's, it's thick. The material is a stiff, thick, thick material with the tassel. $4.99 at home. Yeah, I'm on a budget, so there's one thing at home I really want, but I didn't get, but I, you know, soon come. So this is the at home, and this is there showing all their, like, global stuff that they actually have. So I kind of just left that there because the colors go with the whole thing. Right, I, that's a good idea. It's so beautiful. I agree with you. I would. I mean, they, they can be hung. They're definitely decorations and not to be used. Exactly, right? So gorgeous. Okay. So you saw the refresh. It's simple. The table, you see that green? Remember the green that lines the table? We got the red pillows on those two. Let me get some green pillows over here. So that's the story there. Okay, y'all. I could not look at the console table anymore with the whole Christmas feel going on. Even though I took off the Santa and the whole bit, it's still, you know, Christmassy because it was the same table runner. So I came over here. And I'm going to show you, you know, it's hard to show you because it's not enough room, but a lot of room. But that, I went back to my tried and true fabric, and I put that on the console table. And then I took the other runner that I got from Afro Chic Boutique, and then I put it alongside here. So we got a blue and yellow theme. Remember, nuts are always for welcoming. Nuts are considered good luck. Nuts are for prosperity and abundance. My husband actually ate all the nuts. You saw over the holiday, he ate them all, y'all. <laughs> so it, this stuff is working. So he loves it. So what I did here was, what I did here was, I actually just took a candle and I, of course, I just put a little, I put this underneath it because my last candle burnt to the end. And anyway, it, burnt, it, it put a little spot on my last runner. So be careful. Put something under your candle. My husband has had this candle holder. How beautiful is that? It's actually a heavy metal, right? Wrought iron, might probably metal. And it's beautiful. So it's an African candle holder. And so I know this, and I'm teaching a course called Afrocentric Spiritual House Cleansing 21 Day Intensive. And in it, I'm really talking about the idea of the placement of different objects. And you always want the elders to welcome the people in the house. And, and, and from a spiritual perspective, they act as guardians of the home. So they're kind of like the, the spirits of your grandmother or great-grandmother who don't take no mess, don't allow no mess up in the house, and everybody else got to come through, got to pass through them. So everything I do, that's what, that's what Afrocentric house cleaning is, for spiritual house cleansing. For people that don't know this in my, on my other channel, and it's going like, what is that? It really is talking about the idea of placement. So not only is it beautiful, but it's significant. 
and it brings in a certain kind of energy. And if you have elders, yes, loving that candle. Isn't that so pretty and unique? My husband got that years and years ago. So you have the female and you have the male. So you always got to have the pairs. Nice to know what the answer is. Yes, the guardians. And if you have, Feng Shui says having children is important too, but Africans already knew that. If you're going to have, hi from Spain, so glad, coach. Oh, I'm so glad. Welcome. Hola. So if you're going to have the male and the woman, female, then you're going to have the elders and you have to have the children. So I took these, when they were on the living room coffee table, and I took them and put them here. So they're in the back, and they just bringing in that blue, that gold, that yellow. Oh, yes, I know Spain. We're doing good here. And then I took these. I got these candle holders. You're welcome. I got these candle holders from a sister from Tanzania, another sister in Oakland. Um, and they are they stay with me forever, and I just put the, those two Dollar Tree candles that I don't burn it just for show. Yes, the village honey is growing. Now, y'all remember the story or oh, everything. I think Afrocentric home decor, which hopefully separates it from some other decor, not all, is that it has a story. And remember, that red dirt is why we moved to North Carolina. This is what we fell in love with. So we, we dug up the red dirt, my husband, from the land. We put it in this vase. And then, remember, I want to represent Africa, but I also want to represent America. So this is the cotton. This is pure cotton. Yes, yes, right? I think at home is expensive. It is a little expensive. I'm so glad you said it, Jay. So then I, this is the, the cotton, and let me just show you from the other angle. And that cotton will last forever. Now, we bought this for 10 well, this was $10, $10 I think. Is that red dirt? I see how, yes, it's red dirt. Yes, BB Joe, it is. I think we paid $10 for this bouquet. It was 15 and it went down to 10 and that cotton will last forever. That's what's so wonderful about it. Good. Yes. Yes, they do bring so much character and space, and they protect you. Isn't that a blessing? And then let's go over here. You never saw this piece. This is another made out of very similar that you can hear it against my ring, that hard, heavy iron. Isn't that it's so beautiful? I love it. Does he have a hat on made of metal, like almost a bronze? So he has a bronze, and then it's this, this his body. And like he is just so another thing. A lot of times in Africa, masks, thank you. They love his face. Isn't it cool? Masks in Africa were representations sometimes of guardians as well or jokers, or even tricksters, or ones that bring humor to situations. Hey, Nubian Melon Queen, how you doing? And so that piece I decided to put up here. And then I kept the tray. I kept the tray, but I really wanted to have, that's why y'all give each other the greetings now. I really wanted to change the glasses up. So I had these blue, cobalt blue. Uh, gray, I'm so glad, and she's saying good to everyone else, good. And I had these cobalt blue glasses that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I love them, love them. So, of course, because I'm using this blue and yellow table runner from Afro Chic Boutique, anybody interested in her, her, her website, I'll put, put it in the description box. And if you use the link that I have in the description box, you have free shipping. You know, she's been telling me to tell you that forever. Anything you buy from Afro Chic Boutique, that's right, that's right, Queen. Anything you buy from Afro Chic Boutique it includes free shipping if you use the link. So if you use the link, which I'll put in the subscription box, you'll be able to have free shipping. I just wanted to let you know. And I'll sell. If you're interested, you're interested. So I took the napkins and I uh, put them in the glass. And I just, when you come in, that's this thing about you walk in, you see that blue and yellow. Then you got the light. Then I light the other candle. And then, of course, well, I didn't talk, I talked about it. I didn't talk about it. I kept, I love this tray. We found this, I think, at Marshall's. Love this tray. Yes, free shipping for any Afro Chic Boutique stuff, which is the table runner, the wreath. It's not a, a blessing. I really like that. So, but you have to use the link. That's what she told me to tell y'all, so don't forget. And then the nuts. We got our nuts to represent the prosperity and abundance and welcome and good luck. And so I had to do it. But I did one thing. Now, this is a quick one thing, so don't look at the rest of the house, okay, y'all? Just look at what I, what I did because y'all know I couldn't take it no longer. Y'all know me. All right, y'all. Do y'all see the y'all see? Do y'all see the couch? So what did I do? A couple of things I added. I added the mud cloth to the back because I needed something here that was going to be more colorful or not pattern. You know, I loved the gray couch. Don't get me wrong. It's not. I don't regret it. I love the comfort. I even love the simplicity. I love the neutrality of it. 
but I need some type of more African in the pillows. Thank you. So I took the mud cloth and, and tuck it in there, put it on. I think the pillows look great against that mud cloth, which I like. I love it. I mean, I got to fluff out them pillows. But another thing I added was, I remember I showed you all the Marcus Garvey throw. It was like, oh, somebody said, is that Marcus Garvey on the throw? In the flesh. Well, not really, right? But that's Marcus Garvey. He's on the throw. The throw is red, black, and green. And Marcus Garvey is on it. And I thought that he fits so nicely. Thank you so much. Hey, Hope, Hope. So Marcus Garvey's on the throw. We got the mud cloth. We got the beautiful pillows. Now, the whole living room, you ain't even done. I ain't even see nothing yet because the whole living room is about to be redone. Yes. So, quick look. Okay, can't look no more. Okay. Everything. Like, I'm rearranging. Except for the couch, I'm rearranging every single thing. Afrocentric all the way. Thank you. Love, love, loving it. Thank you, darling. I'm rearranging the entire house. Marcus Garvey, my husband, got it years and years ago. And he said he can't even remember where. That's how long. Probably, I kid you not, he said he probably had it for 22 years. At least he remembers that long. He keeps his stuff. So now you see, now I'm a working woman. Can you tell my camera, my vlogging camera, my other stuff on the table? That's how you know I work. Rubber bands to tie everything up. But I'm redoing the, the coffee table. So remember that beautiful table runner that I had on the other, if you remember, I had it on the console table in the bed, uh, in the hallway. I put it in here. So I got a little thing. So this was on the, the dining room table, and that's why I put the green, brown, and white one that went with the tablescape. I want this one to be in here. Just picture all the other stuff off. But, you know, I want to show you, I mean, real life. And so I'm starting to f do this. I got some other ideas. Uh, I know. How long is it going to take me? I don't know. Once I get started, it's going to be on hot and popping. I don't know. I'm going to take my time, but you're going you're gonna to notice a nose. I'm gotta, plus, I got to get my husband to help me move all this French. <laughs> we got to move stuff around, y'all. But it's going to be fun. But if Renee Ali is watching, she gifted me those beautiful Kwanzaa cards. So I incorporated the Kwanzaa cards on every, well, and this side, that's her Kwanzaa card with the cowrie. This side, I put the Kwanzaa card, and this one as well. Yes, Ryan makes it feel fresh and new. That's right. I love, yes, that man statue, I was going to talk about that. I was going to talk about that because I think he is so gorgeous. He is just beautiful, like super gorgeous, fine. I mean, like, that one is so dope. So he stays, and then, of course, we have another bouquet of flowers because that's what we do. <laughs> we do bouquets of flowers. And so, yeah, we're going to do it all over. He is dope, isn't he? So we're going to do it all over. So every room in the house is going to be redone. So we're going to do the living room over. I'm going to do the living room over. Yeah, the windows are beautiful, aren't they? I love them too. They are gorgeous. And the exposed brick, I mean, that's just cool by itself, isn't it? So we're going to rearrange. My husband has other pictures. Remember I was telling you about the pictures on the wall? Well, my husband has lots of paintings. So we're going to take, change them out. We're going to put some of these away, add some new ones. So that'll give a whole fresh look. Matter of fact, let me show you one of the new pictures that I told him to bring up. I was like, bring that picture up from storage. So let me show you. I forgot. Let me see how I get a little light. Exposed brick. Oh, right. Makes apartment feel chic. Chic is the word, isn't it, BB Joe? All right, let me show y'all this. Not that that light work. Is that gorgeous? Is that? My husband painted that. My husband created that. I love that. That's, so that's the new one. I mean, to see a black, strong male with a flower. Like, we need that gentleness. Don't you think, y'all, we need that in our lives? We need to see strong black males, a husband, a father, a son with a flower. Like, isn't that beautiful? Like, I told him the blue. Oh, my God. What, what, what? Yes, yes. It's gorgeous. He has other stuff you ain't never seen. So we're going to put that up. And neat because we, we went to a, um, he was showing his art somewhere off top. I didn't have a chance to watch the video on your other channel, but you are ending that channel. I hope not. All that makes you think of Berkeley from a, yes, that's true. So I will take a few minutes to tell you about that. So you see that blank wall? You don't see that a lot. So those two um, videos, I'm sorry, videos, because <laughs> I got to talk about videos. Those two are actually 
uh, were in storage now because we used those for showing that he was doing. So we're going to replace those two with some more. Like I said, lots and lots of art. So I would love to take the time, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn this around. Now it's going to look all crazy because, first of all, you really got me at home. Wait, let me look a little. Let me take off my bathrobe so I can talk to you. You know what? I love landscape. That's the way that this is now where it's longer because I know that's better because you can see it. But on the iPhone, it's always weird where to look. So if I look like I'm not looking at you, you're going to have to excuse me because I'm looking at you, but it don't look like this. I'm <laughs> Because I'm used to looking this way. So I know the camera's here, but then I can't. Okay, so I'm going to look at the camera. So, but it's weird. All right, ladies. So here we go. Thank you. So a lot of people want to know if I'm still doing the Blackberry Beauty uh, video, uh, you know, channel, right? Am I still you have any other first YouTube channel called Blackberry Beauty Academy? The answer is yes. Will I be live on that channel? No. I'm going to use that channel to do creative commercials. And I'm gonna get it. I want people to join the tribe. What I want is people who really want to do the work. People that really want to do the work. It's very important to me. I've been on you, I've been doing this work for over 25 years. I worked in the Oakland Unified School District. I brought it to children in many levels, this healing work, the spiritual work. I've done it for so long. I've done it in every way that I could. And what, what, so I learned something from doing all that. That I, I there's aspects of it that I absolutely love. There's things that I do. I love teaching, and I love teaching courses to people who actually want it, want to be there, getting something out of it, and changing. I find that those changes mostly come for people that actually pay for the courses and sit there. There's a different feeling of working with people who actually want to do the work, who actually want to know what you have to say, want to listen to you. Not to say that people, I mean, most of them came from YouTube, so I'm not down in YouTube. I'm not down in I'm not even downing Blackberry Beauty channel. I'm, I'm like giving thanks for it. Like, know this. You'll see I'm growing my locks. Okay, off topic. But anyway, know that. Know that I, I love that, I, that you all came from there. What I find is it's, too, it's taking too much from me. It's not, I'm not feeling thrilled to talk about all those things when I got courses where I specifically talk about the things that I feel like the sisters have told me they need it. So I create courses around womb issues or healing of the womb, courses around spiritual house cleansing, in depth and intense. And when you teach on that level and you got ladies in that groups, in those groups that want it, like it's, it's almost like they say in other countries. And so to people are coming from around the world listening to this video, there's a saying that, that the, the, us in America, we don't really respect our teachers in the same way that maybe in Asia or Africa, places like that where your sensei, your, your teacher, you know, they're really respected. And I feel like that's what I get when I'm teaching an intensive or my Sunday special or even doing my one-on-one -on -one consultations. I get that. And, I, and I, it, it makes me perform, I say perform me in a great way. It makes me give from the highest. It's like spirit the most high comes inside of me. And spirit the most high comes in me and just allows me and gives me all kinds of information to give. I'm at the point in my life, at the age in my life where I kind of want to be the professor for real and, 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 and come to people that really want to come to me. It's a different vibe, and I, it's, it's a, it feeds me instead of draining me. The other thing is I'm an artist, and this is what I love to do, so I don't get to do this as much, which don't make me that excited or happy. So I need this balance, but I'm giving so much to YouTube. I'm constantly doing them two or three times, sometimes, sometimes two times a day. Then I got to get on Facebook. I'm tired and drained. I know I need rest. I need to redirect the energy. But what I notice is, what I want, though, is I want to still do videos, but I want to do it for the people that want it, not the people that want to take and drain, not the people that's never going to get in the courses, which means they're never going to move towards change. So what I did is I invited people to join my tribe. It's called the Blackberry Beauty Tribe. It's an email list, but it's more than that. So guess what? Anybody that's in the Blackberry Beauty Tribe, if you want to know how to join, go back to the other channel and go in the description box. It's called How to Join the Tribe. Anybody on that list, I got special. I'm going to do videos for you. 
I'm going to do videos for you because you're a captive audience. You want it. You need it. It's feeding you. You're excited. You're happy. I want to continue to do the videos for you. I just don't want to do it on YouTube anymore. I don't want all the extras. It's like leaving the door open and anybody can come on in. I want people to come in and close the door behind them because they really want to be there. So it's a metaphor, and I know you get it. So I just sent the tribe. If you want a tribe list, I sent the tribe members a, me a message today. I got something special for them that's waiting for them tomorrow. So the Blackberry Beauty, no, I'm not using that outlet anymore, but I will be still doing videos for anybody in the tribe, and, all you, and the tribe is free to join. And I didn't want to tell, you know, Black Bear Beauty Academy, I know this is not the channel to do that. I had to do that because we're going to get that a lot. Y'all got to understand, I'm, this channel, Blackberry, I mean, the Afrocentric Home Decor and Style channel, you got to know, that's why I did the what's in my purse or fact, random facts about me. I want you to know who you're dealing with. I want you to know I came from somewhere before I got here. So we can get that out the way early in the channel. Y'all going to understand that there was, I had a past, it was a good past. And I'm still having it. I, I cannot wait to do my Sunday 21 day intensive and start another course. Every month I teach that. So I teach from that perspective. So even on this channel, I'm teaching. When I do In Our Own Image, which makes my heart sing that show, I'm teaching. I'm teaching, but I'm also preaching <laughs> and I'm also healing throughout through the process. So anybody that loves my videos from the other channel, you don't have to miss them. They're going to be exclusively for you. Join the tribe, and it'll be sent to your email. So I hope that list grows. And everybody else that was on that channel, stay subscribed to the channel because I am going to be advertising the most creative, like movie-like commercials. We're going to do as much as we can, creative commercials, so you know what's coming next. All right, ladies, so I did want to share that with you. And thank you for asking. So let me see. I don't want to miss any comments, comments so let me see. This is beautiful. That's nice. Yes, beautiful. Uh, all this makes me... Uh, Berkeley Flea Market. Yes, love you here. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, I love sunflowers. Yes. Or is it daisies? My absolute fave. Let me see. Did I have some flowers around? Yes, indeed. I love it. Totally understand where you are coming from. Yes. I'm here to check it out because I really love your videos. Thank you. Please remind us the tribe link to sign up. Thanks in advance. Thank you, Wendy. I'll actually do that. I will promise as soon as I get off this, I will put the tribe link in here so that you all can have that as well. I love your channel. New to it. Thank you. I'm so glad. Welcome, Nicole, darling. So glad. So yeah, y'all, we are sitting on, we are royalty, darling, right? My, could you do a video about the flu, about the flu? Sure, I could. Okay. I'll do that for the tribe. I think you're on the tribe membership, so I will. So y'all, I mean, I feel, I mean, like, I'm so glad y'all can see this. This is Kuba cloth as well. So Kuba cloth is from the people of Zaire. And remember I told you that every sign, every, every pattern, every, you know, design is meant to mean something. Kuba cloth can really be expensive. This is kind of like a Kuba cloth placemat. My husband had this probably for 15, 17 years. And then we got the Molly mud cloth. That's why I said at home is 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 saying is calling it Moroccan mud cloth. Like they have all this like mud cloth print cheers and mud cloth. Thank you, mud cloth. You see the mud cloth uh, coasters. They won't call it. They won't call it what it is. They got it. It's not Moroccan. Moroccans don't have nothing to do with no mud cloth. It's the people of West Africa. See, they can't even say African mud cloth because white and black people get scared we're so afraid of ourselves sometimes so we get so afraid so they have to make up this call it moroccan because moroccan seems more exotic and don't get me wrong i love moroccan style love moroccan decor think my moroccan decor is beautiful but the, the honest truth is it's not moroccan mud cloth okay it's malian it's other parts of west africa not north africa it makes a difference it's black people that made it and so we have to be truthful, and we're not going to get the truth from them. You know, this channel is about us, for us, by us, our own image, looking at ourselves, loving ourselves, being, that's healing. That's so healing. So many diseases, the womb issues, the fiber tumors, all the stuff that we get, it's because we are so disconnected from this. And we have to connect back to ourselves, and that's where our strength lies. So I always, I will, prob I will do my best to never show you something that I can't explain on, even if it's the smallest level 
of what it is. So that's what this is about. It's about beauty and fun. And it's about, yeah, getting things and having things. But it's also about appreciating it and loving it. That's why my intensive I'm doing, I'm not selling y'all. Because I, I just want to show you because I'm excited. People might think, what is Afrocentric spiritual house cleansing? It's something that we used to know that you didn't just decorate your house because you wanted a new look. You decorated your house. De decorating was another word for it. It was... It was, it was emanating to the most high to give you. It was a petition that went up and said, look, I made the changes. It's a metaphor for you. I made the changes. Now can I receive the blessings? So when I change things like this, I feel like, if you'll see all that and those pillows, I'm, I'm receiving the blessings. I'm getting the blessings. The blessings are coming. So so are you. The table in the front is so important. So my very doorway, the very doorway when you first walk in, I got some work to do on that because that is probably the most important part of the house. I ain't talk about no more. I got a course I teach, but I'll talk to you more, you know, about everything I put up. So redo, rewind. The show is late. We're not going to make it to Jan the January show in January. That means we're going to have two in our own images in February. So look for it to come. And uh, I'm still going to do fun things on the channel. I want you to get to know me. And I know I got to do things for you to know me. I'm also going to take you next. I'm going to do my other camera when, we, when I take you to the festivals or conferences, anything Afrocentric. This way I'll do it on the other camera so we can edit it and it can be nice and put music in it and make it really artistic. So I just wanted to tell you that um, a lot is coming to the channel. It's going to be one of the most unique home decor channels one has ever seen <laughs> and y'all know that all right so i hope you like my my mini refreshes and like i said i like the way i look against this mud cloth now <laughs> love it okay all right ladies look at the camera all right i love you all with all my heart this is lisa marie goodson of the afrocentric home decor and style channel if you are interested, ladies from the other channel, I know you're coming over. People from this channel, let me greet them. They're coming over from the other channel. And I need them to know that this is a good place for them. If you want to join the tribe, which is a free group a special, then I'll make sure I leave it in the link description box. So I got had an ex from Mali, West Africa. Thank you. He had his home mud cloth is definitely West Africa. And exactly from Mali. Exactly. Thank you. Yes, Pinky, I agree. Pinky says, you are right. We need to do that back to our roots within our home and ourselves. Come on now. True, you are right, says Nubian Preach, says from Oakland to Atlanta. Hey, th that makes sense, says Shiri Moya. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. Okay. So ladies, I'm going to go now. I've been, it's been an amazing releasing day. I've let go of a big part of my life in the way that I used to do things, and I'm just doing it differently. I love you all with all my heart, and I take care, and I'll see you in the next uh, episode, the next video, and it'll be sooner than you think because I got some ideas. I got some ideas. All right, ladies, peace and blessings. So you see it? This will all change. Look forward to the changes, ladies. Peace.